Hi, here's a video to demonstrate the um, a Ferrawning awning and how to put it up. Step one is just undo the little bolt at the end of the sail track and pull out the fiberglass rod that lives inside it. Take the rod and try and show you this close up. Put the rod, feed the rod in through a cha the channel at the end of the sail track. As you push it along, as far as it'll go, which you probably can't see because <laughs> it's happening on the ground, it's going like that. Okay, the next step is to get the end of the rod and push it up the sail track. It should glide up as easy as anything, so if it stops or gets hard, um, don't just keep pushing, find the obstruction and get, get rid of it. But it, it goes up very easy. And then close the bolt, and that'll hold it there. The same deal, open the bolt and pull the fiberglass rod out. Now each end of the, the uh, awning has a little shoehorn type piece which allows you easily to push the sail track in, the, not the sail track, the this stuff, fiberglass. fiberglass. Hold it down there and then push the rod into the end of the sail track and as you push up you'll see the awning is being pulled into the sail track. There's a little hook obstructing it there, so just move it out of the way and carry on up to the top. When it's all in, again close the, the bolt. Now, for those of you who don't have the full sail track, there's a, a flap over bit there, which also has a fiberglass rod in it. Can you see this? Yeah. <laughs> um, with a couple of ropes. Normally you could just walk around the back of the van and hook it on, but I've got shrubbery here and I can't get through. So I'll just throw it over the top. More or less like that. Here's what the other side looks like, the rope coming over from the top and just tied loosely onto this latchy thing. It doesn't have to be tight, it's just to stop the, the guy ropes on the other side pulling the awning away from the van. And that does the job and it keeps the flap uh, so that it covers the any gap that there might be between the fiberglass rod and the end of the van. So hopefully it makes it Mm, pretty much weatherproof. Not as good as the extended sail track, but it's a good option. There's a better picture of the, uh, the flap over. When you're putting up the, the tent poles and the guy ropes, um, we've provided anchor points there. These are uh, marine quality stainless steel welded D-rings. They're not going anywhere. <laughs> and they're held on by webbing, uh, top and bottom, plus a reinforcement around there. So the, the moral of this is, don't leave your awning attached in a cyclone, because you might never see the van again. Oh. Now, just hook, <laughs> hook the D-ring over the top of the pole. Grab your guy rope loop. Put it over the top of that, and then pull on the, the anchor point and clip it on. It's as easy as that. We use these. They're screwy in, screwy in tent pegs. 
they've got little hexagonal heads. And they screw in very simply with a little attachment on the end of a drill. And it's called a nut setter. I might just give you a quick demo of that. So push the peg in to start, and then with the drill, down she goes. No kneeling, no banging, no mallets. Yay! Um, but the other thing about the setup is springs at the end of the guy ropes. Use use springs. They'll um, they'll help absorb any impact from heavy gusty winds. Now the, the tent poles. Um, I've got mine all set to the right height. Sometimes I have to fold them up to put them away. I just put a, a mark with a laundry marker there. So it's easy to set the height again. So here we have it with uh, the four poles and guy ropes attached. I usually just use one guy rope on each corner uh, at 45 degrees. I notice a lot of people use two and I don't have a problem with that either if they want to do that. That's fine. Um, as far as the sides, if you want to enjoy the view, then these are very easy to roll up and clip on just with a few of these little things. They're a couple of dollars from the reject shop. And if you want to anchor the, the base down, then we use these. They're called mini bungees. They're from Bunnings and a they're a few dollars for a pack of four. And they just hook nicely around a, a tent peg and onto the, the anchor point. Easy. So there's plenty of give in that if it's, a, if it's a blustery day. So you won't rip anything or tear anything apart. Uh, but it'll give you privacy and some weather protection. Now, we make the sides, by default, 105 centimeters which we reckon gives plenty of protection and privacy but without the side actually getting mucky from dragging on the ground. If you want them longer just let us know and we can make them any length you like.